You're the type of person that watches a movie more than once, aren't you? But there are people who legitimately... Answer the question, Matea. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news and reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, you know, baby, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm old man Vin here at LGC Actual, switching the bits in our little studio, joined every week by the man who no longer smells of streetlights, nay, he smells um, of mosquito bites. Someday love found me, broke those chains that bound me, and now I've touched and gone my separate ways. Truly terrifying. And of course, one Pedro Mateus. Something about the chains of love. The man who yes. drives. That's it. it. That's what it says on his business card. The man who he drives. <laughs> I thought he's the man who arrives. No, nope, just yes. drives. I am the shittiest version of the transporter. <laughs> not really. Not if you get me where I need to be on time, man. And he, like, he, he, he's, he's Jason Stay. Way ham. less active gunfire. That's awesome. <laughs> Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form cocaine. Voltron. What's up? What's new? Uh, I was talking about in the pre-pre-super shows and maybe in the pre-shows and FedEx superposition. I'm waiting on like a thing to show up. I'm like, oh, that'll be dope. Got home early. I'm like, it's arriving today. I'm like, I don't believe you, FedEx. And FedEx was like, because you shouldn't, mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the timer on your dryer or your washing machine where it's like, like it's, you, say, you say it's 45 minutes. It's not 45 minutes. Yeah. You, you, you liar. If you needed more time, you can, you can just tell me, right? Like, I'm not going to judge you, washing machine. <laughs> I, I just want to know when my pants are clean. <laughs> it should be fun. I got a good deal on uh, It's another thing for interfacing Linux. It's, we're, we're not going to be doing a... It's got a sound card, all right? Deal with it. I wanted one. I finally found one for cheap, and uh, we're going to play around with it. Keep your eyes out for that. How about you, Jordan? We went through all of our uh, top... Wishlist titles on Steam. Yeah, I've 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 a lot of JRPGs on mine. I guess I when when I added That's those to the, the list. Baldur's Gateification of Pedro's. <laughs> yeah, there's three Baldur's Gate. I mean, I, just no, in the I top also, five, there's three yeah. Baldur's Gate games. Now, now, I mean, the two, boy two, boy gates. All right. Two 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 Pedro's credit. I also have uh, Dark Alliance one and two on my wish list as well. They are just not near the top, but ah. they are still <laughs> they are still on there. Because I did have fun with those when they were out on PlayStation 2. I and too I enjoyed playing them on the PS2, yeah, it, yes. <laughs> I, I, I would love to stream them with you, Pedro, but I also don't want to pay $40 for mm-hmm. a fucking PlayStation 2 game. Mm-hmm. Two pay- $40 each for two PlayStation <laughs> yes. 2 games. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little too much. <laughs> now I've just been, I've been sitting here getting eaten by mosquitoes, wasting away. Um. Yeah, it's very, very, very dull week for me. What about you, Pedro? Pedro's driving are, are right you... now. He's already got up and left. He's, he's, he's driving the through Faerun. <laughs> you he, drive he, around he... at night, Pedro. Water deep uh, drifts occasionally. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it's uh, gotta be careful at night because they have those uh, little teeny tiny muntjac deers. Uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> when you see one of those in the middle of the road. And you go, that's a little too big to be a fox. What the hell? And it raises its head and you see the horns. It's like, oh, oh hell no. Oh. <laughs> that's the hell elks. Yes, the hell deer. <laughs> yes. Hello, deer. <laughs> Will you be my friend? Stab. Oh, Bye. no. <laughs> but no, I, as it turns out, I do enjoy driving. I, I, I very much enjoy driving. And after spending almost seven years in this country without a car, it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> Just like the horse, it feels good, Jordan. <laughs> it, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it feels particularly good. You know, you, 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 you rub it on your skin, <laughs> and you feel a bit of a burning sensation. <laughs> it's, it's the steam. Did the horse track do its job? I hope so. Mm. We are the 2%, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Congratulations. Woo-hoo. We are taking over the world one penguin at a time. Don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about the Steam hardware survey. They published the results. Uh, for what month is this? I don't know what time it is anymore. It was May for 2024. May, the last month. It says right there. <laughs> the last month. I wasn't looking at it. It's Pedro, a mysterious month. Up. The <laughs> mysterious month of May. And we have climbed to a whopping 2% of... Uh, of uh, usage and a lot of that has to do with uh, Steam Hollow and that custom APU. Man, people really like those Steam Decks. They're they're selling. They are bumping up those Linux numbers. It's happening. Ron Paul GIF, man. We're a serious platform. There are dozens of us. Dozens. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the it. echo is going on too long. 
<laughs> that should be off now. Okay, all right. Dozens! <laughs> and, and, and now we just got to do um, like manual lockout for the run. Uh, nah, man, I was taking a look at this. Like, you know, after a decade of almost being the full percent, man, Linux, we're now the new number one rounding era compared to Mac OS. But we were trouncing OS X. Look at that. Look at that. 232 to 147. So that's a solid dominating. Not 0.85. And Pedro, I saw an uptick in the, this strange AMD, AMD, custom yeah. GPU yeah. 0405, <laughs> which has a jump month to month by a solid 4%. What's going on with that, Ben? That is what you would otherwise call a Steam Deck. Oh. That's how the, uh, the GPU appears yeah, uh, on the listing. And yeah, that right there is the thing that propelled Linux to, well, uh, finally, uh, to, uh, to OS X. <laughs> yeah, finally dethrone uh, Ma Mac OS X from second place. Now it's all Steam Decks all the way down. 35.64, huh? If you look at the uh, distribution breakdown as well, we can see that Steam OS Hollow is also making up uh, a corresponding mm -hmm. jump as well. So, hey, yeah. it's, it, it, it's just the, the platform is a success. People are buying it. Uh, there is still there is still growth even a couple of years after it's been released. So mm -hmm. and I think it was the Linux gamer that uh, did like the extrapolation of the numbers from the last time that Valve said we have however many thousands of active accounts. Yeah. So it's like okay, let's do two percent of that, and apparently there's like over five million people on Linux these days. If those uh, numbers are anything to go by, so that's that's pretty good. Gentlemen, I have <laughs> questions though. I, now I don't have a problem with. All right, you know what? I just got a problem with this. All right, Re <laughs> resolutions, right? Primary. What the hell is eight hundred by twelve eighty, and how does that work? And tell me, it please can't hurt me. That's is this for Genshin? No, but no, that's a Steam Deck uh, because the screen that they got for the original version of the Steam Deck uh -huh. is a tablet that's turned uh, sideways. Uh, it's, it's, yes, it's in, that it's default in sideways. Mode, yeah. So it can't hurt. <laughs> it's me. always. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, you can see it if you try to boot something else uh, on the Steam Deck, like yeah. people found out when they Windows. were trying to install Windows on it. Uh, it was in portrait mode. <laughs> hmm. All right. TIL on that. All right. Good. So, yeah, all these numbers are horseshit because they're self reported and they don't mean anything, but they're in our favor this time. So, they're all legit this week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're winning. S statistics are great when they're in our favor. <laughs> hmm. Indeed. Also, I guess I should have said right at the beginning of the show, we're going to switch things up. Traditionally, we do the Steam update of the week and we just do solid Steam. We're going to try to organize things slightly better after 13 years. So we're going to do all the Steam news, <laughs> then all the new games, whether or not they're open source, closed source, wherever they come from, wherever they may be. Same with the game updates. Then we're going to go into the news segment at the end. So I don't want to be like, wait a minute, is this on Steam? I'm like, nay, it's not. But you can play it's it different. in the browser. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's 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 not unghastly. It's not ungengar. It's unhaunter. Uh, it's available on GitHub. You can play it in a browser. Actually, it is a ghost busting game. So when you have an overwhelming desire to nah, bust, nah, 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 it nah. makes you feel good, uh, and you can you Bust can go look for bu ghosts. Um, <laughs> right right now, they have only two ghosts implemented. They're looking to add more features. But yeah, basically, you walk around the house and you try to like uncover the ghost and and solve the mystery. Uh, uh, does run in the browser. It's written entirely in Rust, uh, so you can run it locally as well. And yeah, it's just a cool little <laughs> game that uh, that someone's working on, and they're op they've open sourced it under Apache 2.0. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, man. Like you know, if you're looking for something like what what was the other game, Pedro? That's going um, like this. <laughs> uh, the the mechanics wise, it's Phasmophobia, but the presentation, if you look at it, it's like ooh, Project Zomboids. I guess that's not going to get anymore. Right. So, uh, ghosts. There you go. Ghosts. <laughs> Evidence and equipment. And you're welcome for the screenshots on the GitHub page because uh, Homeboy originally posted this on like uh, open source games. I'm like, hi, unsolicited <laughs> advice. Um, <laughs> put up some screenshots. And he's like, you're the second person that brought that up. And I'm like, yeah. Probably a reason for yeah. that. Yeah. Helps how, how, <laughs> to show what your game actually looks like. I mean, yeah. yeah. General practice, if you get a GUI application, be it a game or, you know, a GUI application, anything that's going to be in a window, yeah, do, do, do a couple of screenshots for everybody. You're good. Easy to build. Uh, like Jordan said, you can just run it right in the browser. And of course, it's rusty. So, cargo, run, all the things. Keep your fingers crossed. Cargo, cargo cult. cult. Cargo cult. Not a cult. Cargo Hashtag cult. not a cult. All right. <laughs> Good news, everybody. 
The latest update for Team Fortress 2 is that it's now dropped into Mosley Negative for the first time on Steam from PC Games. And all this is going to be in our show notes, so don't worry about it. That's down in the video description. Team Fortress True, uh, yeah, current almost 200,000 signatures. Yes, yeah, save TF2. But as of writing, only 31% of the 18,000, this is a free game, by the way, reviews and from the last 30 mm-hmm. days are positive, making it super negative, to which I just hear people at Valve going, did, <laughs> did any of y'all motherfuckers expect to have to update this game 17 years after release? <laughs> Like, I get that, right? And like, this was, this is not a live service game. They didn't plan on it. This released with the original Portal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's the, how the orange is. box. <laughs> Dude. Um, that said, what are people upset about? They just, uh, the, they just bought They're stuff. upset that Valve uh, clearly is not paying attention. There was the uh, hashtag save TF2 originally. Now there's the hashtag fix TF2. Uh, and yeah, the complaints are still the same. Basically, cheaters are running rampant, bots are running rampant, and the people that want to play the game are, uh, they're not happy. Rightfully so. And, uh, Valve, uh, here's the thing. You could, maybe, release a game with a three on the end, Mm-mm. and, uh, give yourself an excuse to not support this anymore. <laughs> You know what, Val? Just, just, I want, I want the ultimate. I, I want Deathlock Three. It's the working title. <laughs> what if, what if they just folded TF2 into Counter Strike? What if, no, what if they just made it a Counter Strike game? You, you would have to that tell would them. piss people off. That would genuinely piss people off. <laughs> would, would that be better or worse than the current situation? Though? So, for all of my brothers and sisters out there, knowing that all the official Valve servers are just bot farms, that's all it is. You know, here's a pro tip. Teamwork.tf. This has been around for a long time. These are community servers with actual moderation and like anti-cheat that works and people keeping track of this stuff. This is where you go to play. And I'm not spoiling it for anybody. You try to bring your bot farm up in here, you're going to get kicked right the fuck out. But it is there. Um, and yeah, this is, this is where you go for your uh, community servers if you're like you want to play Team Fortress 2 and you don't want to just play against a bunch of bots or like, you know, screechy people who don't know about Teamwork TF. That's the thing. Club. If Valve could easily replace an update that instead of defaulting to the Valve servers when you queue up just by hitting join a game, mm-hmm. uh, just default to the community servers. Probably a good idea. <laughs> well, I, 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 we'll, we'll probably get open TF2 before that. <laughs> Why not? No, oh, just do dude, what done, they did. Done. Right there, Jordan. You win the internet right there. Valve. <laughs> fucking torch it right there just open source it like yeah peace yeah oh, just oh, let oh, the community oh, oh. take yeah, over uh, let uh yeah pull what beam dog did with never winter nights and say yeah. okay here's the stuff that you need to develop all the things if you release anything major we'll uh make the announcements mm-hmm. but other than that you run it not our problem Bye. <laughs> there you go problem solved done you're well you're, you're welcome jordan solving all the universe's <laughs> problems once again let's talk about fish arts this got my attention. I'm always happy to see people doing game development in Godot. You know, mm-hmm. the smart people that are like, hey, Unity's going to come back around and screw us. And they're like, yeah, we should probably find something else. Be it Unreal Engine, be it Godot, be it Love, whatever. I don't care. As long as it's not Unity. Well, I saw this post on the Godot subreddit and we're like, we're making fish arts open source, but only if you can defeat us in a tournament. So the developers <laughs> will open source this. It's going to be under the MIT license and uh, you got to show up for the tournament. It's multiplayer. It's fish. Which apparently you combine spells, Jordan. How does that work? Yeah. So uh, if you ever played uh, Magicka or Magicka 2, you have like a fire spell, an ice spell, like a lightning spell, a bunch of different spells, a few different hotkeys, and then different combinations of keys will get you different types of spells. So like combining this type of spell with this other type of spell will get you a shield and so on and so forth. And you can like modify spells and create new effects. It's it was pretty fun. The the I mean, Magicka also let your wizard just carry a gun. There was just like a gun that you could start off the campaign with and you could just shoot people. But the magic was still a little bit stronger. Still, uh, it's free to play. Um it is um, It is now free to play. Yes, it is now it is now free to play. Uh and yeah, open source or not, it's still cool to see a game like this done on Godot. And you know, it's got 
it's got the online multiplayer and it's so, a native linux thing man like you know yeah. what it's a creative bit of marketing because you know in the post he's like ah this game never really took off we put a lot of time in it and we you know if you make something like that special with pvp online and no one shows up to your party you're like well, fuck this is a good well, way to do it it helps to like throw the glove down and be like you got none of y'all can beat us and then <laughs> right then uh, pe people will take exception to that and hopefully show some people show up and they throw the match and at least we'll get the um because yeah. you know this at the very least will be valuable for other people doing game develop especially mm -hmm. you know you'll be able to take a look at it you know hey there you go. even like a working multiplayer framework uh for like online multiplayer just pe stuff that people can snipe so that fucking games can have online multiplayer please thank you <laughs> right <laughs> No, couch co-op. Wait, you mean Steam play together? That's the same thing. Remote remote play together, man. Yeah, that's the yeah. solution. Half a second delay <laughs> between inputs. Pedro. Well, you, you know, Civ, Civ 7 is coming out, so that's one use case for remote play together. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Let's uh, move on to rifles with legs. Oh, yes. Running. Running with rifles. It's Admittedly, it's a game that I shouldn't like, but I really do, uh, because if you have your strategy games and you get like the top down view and you, your units are teeny tiny and you're controlling them a bunch at a time, well, uh, running with rifles sort of takes. Let's put that. it on its head. Give me a game yeah. with a top up view. <laughs> you're, you're just, you could you're just, just seem like, you just, you just get, get tape view all the time. Yeah. You get nav kit. <laughs> But yeah, no, with this one, it sort of takes that particular perspective, but puts you in charge of the teeny tiny little unit and you control the one. And when you die, you respawn as another one on a different part of the map. And they they've been releasing updates. Uh, they released this on Linux years ago, and they've been pretty good with the updates. This one is to uh, basically the celebrations of D-Day being 80 years ago uh, happened a while back. So they were kind of crunched for time to release the uh, D-Day inspired map, which has the famous uh, Normandy uh, beach landing or a close approximation thereof. Uh, it also has it, the car from Lethal Company, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, no, the vehicles have been in the game Great for value. a long time. And uh, yeah, it is genuinely uh, a fun game if you like the army men mass mayhem uh style of multiplayer if you if you enjoy that that is 100 percent recommended for me i i've put a lot of hours into that game for just that reason it's genuinely fun so good job <laughs> we got keys for this back in the day or something right yeah all right it was on the like, oh wow Ooh, <laughs> talk about blast from the past man Deep this guys, week man. is this week is all about the ancient references i, I hope our um cloud saves on Desur are still okay <laughs> Does, oh, no, they're backed up on desurium you guys oh right <laughs> yes <laughs> that's gonna do it for the stevie stuff but let's go ahead and move into the news about something that we always bring up because man we want to believe so hard yeah, Computex is going on, right? And, you know, everybody's in, like, Taipei chilling out. Uh, Computex, I guess I should say. And, like, the scuttlebutt, even from, like, NVIDIA, because, you know, Jensen got up there and, like, talked for two hours about fuck nothing. Like, I, I tried to watch, like, like, I was like, why? Nothing. Nothing about gaming cards, nothing. Typical NVIDIA, like, we got AI money now, peasants. But some of the scuttlebutt, the rumors, I'm just going to say straight up rumors, is, like, NVIDIA is not even considering a... 50 series gpu until 25 to even start thinking about it no we're just we're just stuck man because like nobody's getting any competition the only little bit of hope we have is intel of all fucking companies i need a hero which is a dodgy place to put hope <laughs> the last time i checked because intel really likes to intel a lot of times yeah we're talking <laughs> about <much>. battle mage <laughs> Good on you, uh, Gamers Nexus. They got, uh, you know, a web zone. Mm -hmm. Which my scroll thing doesn't work on. Boom, <laughs> bad on you. I gotta manually scroll like a barbarian? Like this a is sucker. Cool. So we're talking about, uh, you know, Intel, Tom, there's old Tom Peterson talking about the Z2 architecture, you know, in Lunar Lake in that configuration with that little bit. This is a bit of a deep dive. So a couple of things, you know, he talked about like, you know, 
the original um, Alchemist, yeah, yeah Alchemist, Alchemist was kind of bad because it used the sim to eight and they've moved that up to 16. So those things have gotten better. 12.5% increase in draw performance. And uh, apparently the Alchemist GPUs were also like kneecapped men. Like they were just couldn't get the data through them quick enough. I'm like, I think we're all just kind of surprised that they worked at all. <laughs> and just, yeah, it, it's, it seems like a lot of the, uh, the architectural changes that they're talking about has to do with like cleaning up wasted resources and like actually you allowing the car to utilize the, you know, circuitry that it has at hand, which mm -hmm. should theoretically, you know, give it a higher like hardware cap in terms of like what it will actually take to maximize, like max out the capabilities of this card. Hopefully, hopefully. Dude, I mean, I want to believe so hard I'm going to pull something. We need something, man. Like, I really, here's what we need until we need, like, benchmarks. Real gaming benchmarks, because this is our last hope. Like, AMD's too happy being second place, which is going to be slightly less fuck you pricing than NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. That's all you're mm -hmm. getting from Team Red right now. And I what Jordan was talking about earlier. Jordan was like, well, the prices have come down. Not until some new shit comes down. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bow mage, baby. Yeah. There's no uh, competition, so <laughs> where the price is going to go? Uh, yeah, no, it's Intel's like the you saw it with the A380 and the amount of performance that you were getting out of that card and the fact that it still needed an 8 pin uh GPU PCIe power uh a, like connector plugged into it that doesn't make any sense so yeah efficiency Baby is stuff. Uh, <laughs> It, it, it Intel needs to work on efficiency, not just for the GPUs, but also for the CPUs. But yeah, uh, this uh, unfortunately is coming to laptops first. Makes sense. Is, yeah, it, it, it is Intel. Uh, did, they did that with the first XZ graphics. Uh, so yeah, whatever. But yeah, and uh, they're changing the proprietary their own proprietary drivers to make game compatibility better going forward because that was one of the big things, especially for people on Windows that relied on intel's proprietary drivers that every time a new game came out they had to update the drivers for the game to work even have Works a semblance of a chance of yeah. working yeah they've learned a lot man you remember before alchemist came out i remember i think peterson was still doing peterson and uh, the big ginge were uh doing the mm -hmm. pr rounds and ryan right. schrutz yeah people were worried about the uh driver situation and they said Hey, we're Intel. We've been making driver for 20 years. And I'm like, that's why we're worried about this. That's precisely right. why people were worried. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, the, be the best because indicator of future behavior is past behavior. So, yeah. As it turns out, on Linux, people were having an okay experience with it because, hey, guess what? They were just using the i965 drivers. So, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Intel <laughs> GPUs under Linux, uh, discrete GPUs as the owner of a the massive, the dominating, ever all powerful A310. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they function that's about it they run more shit than i expected yeah and like I, right now i'm in a situation where like i have a rx 580 in my tv box mm -hmm. that i i would love to replace with like a with an intel card if it can like not suck ass and like run, run some games decently do some transcode do some like av1 shit then yeah maybe have it, fan control that see that would that would be nice <laughs> that'd be great I, I'm, I'm, yeah <laughs> i'm waiting for the core control people to figure that shit out because my yeah, money's on like doing that it. like yeah made me want to jump out a window and i'm like how long is intel arc why i'm the first person reporting on this <laughs> a year and a half later and i'm like hi breaking news no fan control under linux <laughs> i mean could that a310 operate with no fan period uh, is, 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 is the state not on, just on for a little bit yeah, yeah it would probably started throttling. Not Ironically, that it would burn itself, but it, that it card has become unobtainium. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> AV one stream thingy, <laughs> shouty doom little card. People are like, fine, whatever, we'll take it. And you know, one slot configuration, I'm like, go for it. But now there's an entire subreddit dedicated to hacking it and putting other coolers on it because mm -hmm. you can hear it from the other room. <laughs> But hey, you just, man, you just got to make sure that you remove the 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 PCI bracket, right? I mean, that's if you just want to change it from low profile to full size. You got to pull off the entire um, assembly. Yeah, it, whatever. Just what? snipped a little bit of plastic off at the corner and they're done. Right. Like, seriously, it's like, here's how you fix that. This is, this is. Now, JPR, they, they do um, forecasting and, you know, collect the data numbers and put them into charts and all that stuff. They did one with the uh, most recent, the first quarter 2024, like measuring like market share and growth. 
where, you know, NVIDIA is dominating and AMD is like, hey, we're like 20%. The movement for Intel was effectively zero, which is not good. And it seems like everybody who's going to buy Alchemist has already bought Alchemist. And here's what I'm worried about with Biomage. Just to say it, what are we expecting in performance? I hear a lot of people talking about like 40 series. Going, no, uh, I think if realistically we should expect it to dominate the 30 series NVIDIA. Here's the thing. The 3060 and the 4060 are within 1% to 2% of each other. So uh, if they clip the 30 series, they clip the 40 series. So unless you're talking about the high end, like 4070, well, I, 4070 I, I mean, Ti, and so on and so high forth. High end is a complete pipe dream. I don't think Intel even is imagining <laughs> yes. that they will and come close to that. That That's what I was going to say. Is, uh, unless you're talking about the high end, but Intel is not going to get to the high I'm end. I'm talking about the upper medium low end. <laughs> yeah. 76, 77. Need, you need something zero. out of the box for 300 yeah. bucks that can compete with a 3080, which I have not doubts. happening. <laughs> not happening. Maybe, if you'd maybe, maybe, 30, maybe 60, a 3060. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you, you know, if they, if they can knock on 3070, that would be like best case scenario. Well, I mean, they already like, have the yeah. 770, which is in, you know, not across the board, but it is faster in some scenarios than a 3060 right now. Mm hmm. But oh. it needs instead of one uh, eight pin needs two. We're eight not pins. No, nobody fucking brought a power pin. We're not, that's a modifier. We're not yeah, faster. We're, we're, I don't we're, care we're, if I we're, need we're, like we're fucking talking wall about power. Bits in, bits out. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're not uh, efficiency. That's cool. Cool story, bro. Uh, give me something that dims the lights, but give me something that's three hundred bucks with a good frame buffer on it, like starting at like sixteen gigs. I don't know. It's got to be a hell of a thing to try to get and to convince investors are like okay we're going to take another hosing on these cards because they did it with alchemist dude if they made a penny off each one of those cards that they sold i'd be surprised and it's like someone needs to take this loss so that the fucking industry can write itself and like you know re re return to something resembling reasonable prices because i don't i don't think it's ever going to go down again things change like, people get complacent we know we used to talk on the show you know when before ryzen came out I'm like what's intel going to do and it's what they did is when their first gen ryzen's like intel just walked to the back of the warehouse and like dusted off what is like yeah we got one of these here all right that yeah. beats it they were able to do that for one cycle two cycles but mm -hmm. then I didn't, I didn't, this this is how rock and rolls this is good for everybody hopefully Oh, Everything yeah, no. just works out. N N Nemo, I'm I'm aware that this is a pipe dream because you can't convince people to spend money, even though it would it would be good long term. I can mind control. My, you well, can't yeah, yeah, convince you, people to spend money, but not I, on the things that they should be I, spending I, yeah, money on. I, I, I got I got my colander and this <laughs> golf cart battery. It's my mind control device. And we're gonna we're gonna kidnap we're gonna kidnap Tom Peterson. We're gonna kidnap Lisa, and we're gonna kidnap Jensen. Allegedly, and we're gonna have a little jokingly. conversation. Hi, lawyers. She's making a joke. <laughs> yes, I'm absolutely joking. Not at all serious. I can't even operate a golf cart. But you admit to having a cauldron. I admit to having jumper cables. Aww. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, man, there's that. Uh, well, Battle Mage, whatever. Like, this, this is probably the last time we're going to talk about it on the show until this damn thing comes out. And... One thing I will, I, one thing I did notice for having that A310 on Jordan's box, I got the uh, compute stack installed from their uh, repository. They're constantly updating that. Like, unlike Team Red, they're trying to unfuck their compute stack. Doesn't, doesn't Team Red have some like fundamental hardware flaws in their current gen shit? There's all types of problems with most of them just being AMD. Like, mm. they, they missed that boat. And I think AMD is sitting back hoping because there's like some uh, legislation proposals in North America to like to come after Nvidia for having the lock in for like CUDA and compute, and I'm like, no, all me. I'm fine with some someone coming in and making them spread that love around, but yeah, yeah. I mean, AMD uh, did it because to themselves. Nvidia was very, uh, it rightfully so. They're very protective of CUDA. Yeah, uh, Nvidia started with that shit 20 years ago, homie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but someone made that. Um, basically uh, open source uh, CUDA re-implementation of sorts mm -hmm. that you could have uh, CUDA workloads running on AMD right. and Intel uh -huh. and, and videos like, no, shut that down. <laughs> so you're saying so, that they sent that project a cease and desist, Pedro Mateus? Uh, I don't know if it was a cease and desist, but they were very, very protective because I remember seeing the news at the time. 
Uh, so you're saying that project is no longer active and being uh, it, developed? Uh, I think they hired a developer. NVIDIA hired a developer and said, just don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, yeah, no, because I remember looking up that GitHub repo a few weeks back and it hadn't been updated in a while. Mm-hmm. So. So well, the GitHub you, repo is still available. Yes, the All repo right. is still you, there. You, speak, speaking of NVIDIA and GitHub repos, you know what NVIDIA, what repo they're going to be updating in a few weeks? Yes, uh, the very much the RTX uh, Remix Creator Toolkit. Finally, which uh, people had been shouting ever since they did that presentation with Morrowind of all games, uh, showing what RTX Remix can do. Uh, they updated some of the bits... Um, directly after the presentation and then uh last year they uh open sourced the game integration bit which you saw a lot of people use that to introduce the lss as a mod to a number of games uh there were also a couple of uh, rebuilds like portal uh that showed off okay this is what you can do with rtx remix and now they're actually making the creator toolkit the thing that runs on the back end open source which is great that's awesome and i hope that uh, now finally someone will make a version of the rtx remix they showed with morrowind but instead of for the vanilla game for open mw please that'd, yeah, that'd be, be really cool. nice oh look at this ai <laughs> bullshit worn down aged wear tear medieval wood oak yo yes yeah, it's prompt, got prompt, prompt 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 engineering baby. hey man it's I, all, yeah it's, I'm it's, a it's also developer. got a rest api so that you can hook this into blender and uh produce your rt uh your real, your real time ray traced lighting. I in my mm-hmm. brain, I hear RT and I think real time. That's ray traced, ray traced uh, lighting uh, on your objects, uh, and stream it directly into the game engine as well. Um, I do like, I do like their little pr- performance comparison here with like the fucking laptop GPUs. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, yes, comparing <laughs> this to a laptop forty seventy and a laptop forty ninety and an Apple M three. Look at, look at all, look at that performance. But. Well, I mean, you know, to be fair, it's like the M3 is like the same chip that's in their desktop. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 got, they got the Pro and then they got the, uh, let's actually turn the faucet on and see how well it goes. <laughs> and, it, and it nearly halves the, uh, the, the uh, ge- image generation. Time. Hang on. No, I can come in. But, like, but, but it uses a lot less power to be that slower. No. I, uh, uh, <laughs> the M3, yes. Mm-hmm. It does, so it's a better processor. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. a lot less power compared to even a 4070. Hey, we get A lot the, less power. Uh, you know what? Here's my problem. Like, both of these are good enough for me. I mean, this is AI upscaled and you get a can of PBR, so... Then, um, and for Half-Life 2, a game that already, like, it looks pretty good, It looks honestly. better, man, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's actual cost. bump mapping on the texture, yes, <laughs> and yeah. the lighting reflects accordingly at what well, cost so, pedro so yeah if, if, <laughs> if, if, if you want baby if, if you want half-life 2 way. or open mw to run worse than they already do can <laughs> add rtx yes <laughs> this is good this is going to allow people to like create new real-time lit assets and breathe some new life into games and hopefully make them look a little prettier and make it a little easier on the the, the asset creators to who are uh, putting this stuff together they're putting hd Texture artist out of work, Jordan. I mean, I mean, yeah, with with with, uh, with uh, the prompts, absolutely. I, I want prompts. So I just type. Listen, I just want to type in hot dogs. Don't judge me. <laughs> you you can you can you can talk you can type hot dogs into Bing right now, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, they did a version. I'm looking through the the list of games because at the bottom, you can download the beta now. Mm-hmm. It's like yes, it's still in beta, and uh, they also have a link to ModDB that has the current active mods. They made one for Need for Speed Underground and Track Mania Forever. Ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Which Track Mania? Uh, forever. Nations United, United forever. For, Boo. Track Mania 2 is superior. <laughs> Come play with us on Tuesdays and Fridays. Maybe get this working and start making some RT-lit Track Mania cars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just be careful with your saves. Oh, yes. Uh, especially if you got the game on GOG. Because GOG started to do some math on how much they're paying to host the cloud S3 saves. is expensive, okay? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Uh, and yeah, no, they, they, they were doing their math on how much they, it costs to host 
Skyrim saves uh, on um, GOG Galaxy, and they realized this shit's expensive. So they're going to basically put a cap on um, the allocation um, of basically the size of the uh, save files. They're setting 200 megabytes per game. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> and if you're playing Skyrim modded, the 200 megabytes is not going to be I like enough. how their cyberpunk is <laughs> taking up all the space. Like 400. How, how many save files is that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> I, you, you know, if, if, if I remembered what drive it was installed on, I would go and look and see how big my cyberpunk save is. <laughs> Um, it, it, if you're one of those people that creates different saves, that also is going to um, increase the size. But uh, yeah, it is yeah. definitely a uh, good guy GOG saving Linux users from losing their cloud saves by not, you know, bringing GOG Galaxy to Linux. <laughs> and, again, and again, like, for, for everything other than Skyrim, 200 megabytes per game seems more than reasonable. Most save files are going to be like 10 to 15 megabytes at most, unless it's a game where you're like, making and storing and sharing stuff um i don't know it's good that they're warning you back up your shit right now if you're apparently if you're on um heroic or uh on the on the heroic games launcher you have some uh gog cloud saves that you may need to mm -hmm. extract somehow not on not on not on lutris though lutris will have their own cloud saves as strider yelled at me earlier today yes. so <laughs> you know go go bug him if your cloud saves don't work on Lutris. it's kind of wild man so you have August 31st, man. A lot of people can be mad August 32nd. Or, yes, yes, my new, <laughs> my, yes. my, my Ventorian calendar. <laughs> I, I will be releasing on August 31st as well. So it'll make sense. Um, how devastated would you be? I want to hear back from people. Leave me a comment under the video. Uh, if you lost all of your save files, and I'm talking all of them, kids. I'm not talking about just your GOG save. I'm talking your Steam saves, your save saves, your Pokemon digital save battery back all that shit's gone oh, I'd be, including I'd be, I'd be your so characters in MMO games fucking earth now yeah i was thinking about this and i'm like you know for a solid afternoon i'd be mildly perturbed <laughs> a little bit like maybe I, i'd have to work myself up and like I, I, <laughs> mm, I i don't tap the pause button on games too often like when i i find a game you hear me like i'm looking for a game to play like i am currently right now with the intent of like fucking that game up and being done with it. I don't have like a lot of little that, games that's on pause. The thing. You're the kind of person who plays the game through once and then that's it. You're done. Never play it again. <laughs> I'll play it twice. You're yes. the type of person that watches a movie more than once, aren't you? But there are people who legitimately answer the question, Mateus. <laughs> <laughs> your honor. Submit it, submit it for your approval. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, th there are people who legitimately play the same game over and over and over and over because that's their jam. That's the, the, the game that they really like to play. And I can see for those people that would that would I, legitimately piss them off. <laughs> I'm very anti things that don't just let you not extract your save period, like console games, especially, you know, back in the day you had memory cards, right? Like you could, you could like, ha you had an external thing that you could pull out. You could like copy the save over and so on and so forth. You could put it into like a PC reader and back it up. That doesn't really exist these days on like your Nintendo switch or your PlayStation. Right. Um, one of the nice things about like being on PC is uh, I took my save out of a out of a native Linux game, dropped it into a wine the wine version or the Windows version, and picked it up where I left off. And being being able to do that is is nice. I, I like having that facility, and I I really dislike it when games do not provide that in any any sort of way. Um, you brought this up. Uh, you you echoed an old point I made. When will games start introducing like tie it into your Google account, tie it into your OneDrive, your own cloud, mm -hmm. whatever? Just let you you know. <laughs> There, there, there are a million cloud storage providers out there that people already have but just and it would be pretty simple just add integration say like here's the oauth connect to this thing here's where your save file lives yep you got to do it yourself though <laughs> that's the thing because that uh, already exists but you have to set that up yourself well i always think so, like to this it's, day it's, i mean it's, it's it might library, be a, right? like, just like an age thing i consider like cloud saves just ephemeral like it's cool that they're there but i don't like you don't have any recourse either if valve's like fuck you like Huh. All right. And then, and then sometimes you're like, you download a game and you're like, oh shit, you still have my saves. Nice. Yeah. At, at least it's with a nice Steam, 
uh, if you have the heads up in Steam, you just don't start the Steam client because the files are kept locally on your machine. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, yeah, you can at that point. And it's awesome when it can't get that shit synced. It'll buggy the hell about it. Yes. (laughs) Are you sure? You always get that stupid little cloud with the uh, exclamation mark. (laughs) Good times. Uh, Yeah, let let us know. Like, how how do you manage your saves? And, like, do do you even care? Like, I do savvy. That's how you manage your saves. <laughs> Isn't there a website that has a bunch of save files? Probably, yeah. For video games where you can just go download and be like, I want to be here in this game. If there's not, there's your business idea, kids. You're going to need more than 200 megs, though. I know I that I know they, I know they have those for Mass Effect. Yeah, I, I, I do know they have that for Mass Effect for people who want to like, I want to play this version of Mass Effect 2 where I've like done these choices and I don't want to right. like have to play through the entire fucking series again. Well, I my first thought is like I would assume something like it exists if not just for speed running. Mm-hmm. Of like I want to be able to practice from this point, this point, this point, or this point, but I don't want to like have to manually do that, or maybe I just want to, you know, whatever. I don't have a save from that area and I don't want to do it. Let me know. Let's talk about the biggest news. Of uh, four years ago, small form factor piece. Four years ago, this <laughs> that was type C hole. Top maybe. <laughs> news, man. This is interfacing Linux. I did a thing on the HP Elite Desk 705 G4, not Maxi, but the Mini. Look at it; it's being all Mini right there. Why is this interesting? Because inside of this critter is a 2400 G CPU, which you can get this entire thing with eight gigajoules of RAM and NVMe drive. For less than you can just buy a box 2400G CPU right now. It's amazing. I just wanted to do this real quick because seriously, if you were looking around for just a little fuck around computer, like there it is. It can play games. I got all the information that you need, what you need to replace, like the fan. Memory is easy to get together. It's about the size of 2.5 Raspberry Pis. Everything Linux works out of the box. These things are certified for like some Ubuntu shit. So, you know, Debian's going to run. And if your distribution doesn't run on it, you just made some weird life choices, man. All the audio stuff works, the Wi-Fi works, the Etherhoot noodles work. Disk performance, pretty damn decent out of the box. We're talking 2.2 gigs. How's that compared to your Raspberry Pi 5? Power consumption, (laughs) very reasonable. Electronic vampirism, it idles at like 12 watts. Okay, Raspberry Pi, you got me beat there. Full tilt, 42 watts, not too bad. It's not too shouty either. 36 dBA at idle. And uh, of course, it plays 4K video. Hardware acceleration works. Why? Because it's a G processor from AMD. This is not, you know, some snooze box like an N100 or whatever those Intel, because there's a little $100 pieces. This thing, this is a legitimate ass computer, man. Like you can do anything you'd want, including a digital audio workstation. And naturally, I ran Geekbench on it to piss some people off on YouTube for no other reason than that. I don't have any use for that. Um, Definitely buy a second stick of memory RAM to put in it. It can spin a furry donut at 720p. It can spin 11. But if you put that extra stick of RAM in, that goes up to 21. And, you know, I, I did torture test on it. Not that you'd really want to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider on it. But well, you, you could. 32 yeah. FPS. I mean, if I was a console gamer, I would call that a performance boost. <laughs> that, that, the, the, them numbers are very similar to the ones for the... Uh... Steambox 360, the original version that yeah. only had the 2400G. Dude, 720p dirt rally, or yeah. just dirt playable, 112 FPS. Uh, but if you take out that second stick of RAM, it jumps down to 80. At the well, end, yes, uh, the dual channel is important. That, that's how dual channel <laughs> works. It makes the FURPS go burr. Um, <laughs> if you're concerned about performance per what, then maybe it's not your thing. Stick with the ARM. But this is what I bought instead of Raspberry Pi 5. Why? Because it's 120 bucks. It's small. It's cheap. It's fast. It's the perfect... Uh, it's those three options. You can never get options like that. You look at an, in- I've always been fascinated by these small PCs and yeah, Intel, let's bring that back up. Intel Nook, fast, small, fucking expensive. You got Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 5s. You know what? They're small, reasonably cheap, but they ain't fast. This thing's fast. This thing's cheap. And of course, it is nice and small. Now this price is artificially low right now. People have already hit me up on the social medias and they're like, yeah, work stumping these. Apparently these are not compliant with windows 11 i'm not saying you can't get windows 11 running on them i'm just saying oh yeah probably no tpm 2.0 yeah because companies gen Ryzen not happening <laughs> dumping these things less than four <laughs> years ago these things were 700 dollars in this configuration get them for 120 when that supply runs out they're going to go back up to what they were just a few months ago before this just they're all over ebay all over amazon and they typically sell for like 280 300 bucks now 
This is a good discount if you're looking to pick one up cheap. Unless you're in Canada, Canada, it's uh, 200 bucks. Yeah, about, about 200. I looked around on Amazon. And then, you know, if you're even if you're going to be buying them off eBay from the States, you got to worry about conversion and shipping and shit. That, yeah, so about 200 bucks when all is said and done. Yeah. Which, is still, yeah. which is still pretty and decent Pedro for, like, looking around for an all-in-one. He, he couldn't find one, but somebody else from Britannia is better at searching on uh, eBay than Pedro, and they found one for like 118 pounds. <laughs> yeah, the, the cheapest one I found was 130. Uh, is it between 130 and 150. Mm-hmm. But uh, the thing I found was the Ryzen 5 4600G, just the CPU, yeah. for 90 pounds on Amazon. Brand new. <laughs> so uh, that's... Uh, yeah, at that point you go, mm, old PC, much much newer CPU. Mm, mm. <laughs> but th- this does this does get you the all in one, right? Like you have, you yeah. Have I mean, you know, so it's a, you it's a sh- full system. Yeah, you, you got to stretch to call an old PC because it's a current socket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've already got new CPUs coming. You can't upgrade the CPU on these things. Uh, like this is not a curiosity box. You could straight up use this as your fucking primary PC. Mm-hmm. Easily. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a small business PC, right? Like yeah, yeah it's for. Oh, um, keep it's a that small mind. business PC with AMD graphics. Yeah, I agree. You don't have to fuck around. But speaking of graphics, if you want to get wild and crazy, they make a discreet add on internal RX 560 with four gigajoules of memory RAM. If you want to clip one of those bad boys on for an extra 60 bucks, if you're brave. All this is over in Interfacing Linux. Uh, I got some affiliate links if you want to click those. If not, I don't give a fuck. Uh, just do a search for Elite Dust 705 G4 Mini if you want one. If you don't, if you're like Joe, Joe wrote in last uh, on Wednesday. He's like, I got to come up with a Nick Skin link. Hey, don't just fucking buy one. You never know. <laughs> you don't need an excuse. You got to justify it to the significant other. <laughs> like if I was building a home theater PC, like this thing's got an SSD caddy and it's got an NVMe drive. Like you're done right there. You put this mm. thing like... It's hardware acceleration built in. Let's yeah. go. Wi-Fi works out <laughs> of the box. Uh, there you go. And that's probably the last I'll speak, speak of it. Where's mine? It's in the rack running Jitsi server. Hey, Why? Because I didn't know what else to do with it. <laughs> Wait, was looking for problems to solve. Hey, man. Uh, good times had by all. Now, Snapdragon's been all in the news, dude. Yeah. It's fierce. And... Uh, Qualcomm is uh, making some making some claims. They are saying uh, that they aim to capture 50% of the PC market within the next five years. This is a bit of a bold claim, but some of these ARM systems that are coming out have some serious horsepower. And, you know, the article from uh, Reuters.com, the links to all this stuff is in our show notes. Uh, they talk mostly about the, the Microsoft side of things and how like, oh, Microsoft's been an amazing partner and they're they're working really hard to get the software up and running. You know, here in Linux land, we've had a heck of a head start when it comes to running x86 and x86-64 programs on ARM. Thanks, Raspberry we've, Pi. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Raspberry Pi. Thanks, Box86. Thanks, Bex. Uh Yeah, yeah so um, Microsoft definitely has some caching up to do when it comes to software compatibility, oddly enough. But yeah, um, and I, I think the, the, the other, the other uh, monkey wrench in here as well is um you you know you know we're we're talking about small form factor PCs we're talking about uh we're talking about lower end budget systems because people don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a computer anymore um you you know uh, com- uh with the, with the comparison to something like uh, the Steam Deck for like ARM based gaming systems the Steam Deck has really lowered the floor when it, or lowered the ceiling when it comes to like what people deem as an acceptable gaming system you know, when your ARM-based system has to compete against a laptop CPU versus a full-on desktop, gives you a little bit more wiggle room in terms of trying to sell, like, hey, here's the performance. You know, we're running we're running X emulated x86 code at, like, you know, 80% efficiency, but our crazy-ass ARM CPU can back it up, and we can, like, run shit at 720p30 and give you, like, 20 hours of battery life. How about that? That would be cool as hell. No, that's horrible. You're a wizard. Burn him. Uh- <laughs> Speaking of that, though, I mean, we, we've been waiting for this. Uh, the, there's a bunch of hype with a Qualcomm, that new SOC that's going to be in the Windows laptops and hopefully a lot of other stuff, the Elite. And they are not messing around with this thing. Like, uh, even at Computex, they were like, here, review it. Benchmark it against whatever the fuck you want, man. Go for it. Publish it. We don't care. It'll do it. And what got my attention is DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you go for a beta Three, DaVinci Resolve 19, this was done this week, now has support for that chip. Black magic don't move unless you grease those palms. So Qualcomm is like seriously pushing this out. And Microsoft that's on, was like that's on Windows though, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And Microsoft. Are, are, are they going to release a, like a DaVinci for Linux on them? Or is that like a pipe dream type thing? I don't know. Send them an email. Be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> no, dude. Um, all right. Let's see if I can get back the momentum. Or was I? Uh, yeah. Windows, you know, th- these were going to be great for Windows recall. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, you have companies like Dell advertising, oh, the new uh, Qualcomm are the AI-enabled laptops, and I just want to reach uh, over, you know, into the screen and slap whoever had that idea over the internet, but unfortunately, a slap over IP is not a thing yet. <laughs> well, apparently, like, in their current configuration, they have enough lanes. I think they got eight free PCI Express lanes, too. Well, the, the, the Qualcomm NVMe got a... No, no, it's, somewhere. no, no, no. <laughs> Eight free, Pedro. Did you hear me? After. After already having NVMe? Yes. All right. That many. <laughs> That's eight. Mm-hmm. Um, just sitting there, not doing anything. Just chilling out. <laughs> having a good time. Like, I, I don't know why Qual- Qualcomm threw those in. Like, why, why would you throw an extra PCI Express lanes there? Hmm. Maybe. Desktop version? <laughs> the, their can, dedicated uh, Qualcomm GPU. The, yes. Oh man, they're, they're, they're going to make a big pan frost. <laughs> it's going to be a big ARM GPU on a PCI slot. They're just like, here you go, friends. I mean, 8X, you could probably have like the um, the add-in cards that have the four NVMe slots in them. Each of them will still get like 2X, but it's fine. That's doable. Because um, there's no way you could do graphics. So PCI Express no. 4.0 by 8. Nah, because we choked that. <laughs> go, go, go look at your uh, utilization on that. See, see if you can get it up to 2. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, although, well, Mesa already works uh, just fine on ARM. Hey, because Linux has oh, already yeah. had. <laughs> like, well, here's the yeah. thing. <laughs> NVIDIA already, I don't know about fucking AMD, but NVIDIA's already got ARM GPU drivers. Yeah. Yes, you, they're, they're, they're in the drop down on the NVIDIA website, like front and center. Mm-hmm. They're like, pick your platform. Oh, you're yeah. on Linux. Did you want the ARM ones? Yeah, right. sure. Here, here you go. Um, yeah, no, it's a bit of a it's a bit of an interesting time we're in. And I really I, I'm really hopeful. I, I, I want to see some cool, badass ARM systems. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I, I, I look forward to because Van had a, <laughs> the Steam ARM client before 2030 in the notes. Mm-hmm. No. It's just going to be running over fax because this is Valve we're talking about. <laughs> All right, you heard it here. Pedro confirmed it. Steam Arm Client 2031. <laughs> but yeah, the um, is that like I C-Lab? look forward. Yes, I look forward to some kind of Steam, whether it's native or it's going to be running through fax or something. That Valve gives money to the people behind fax and Box 86, Box 64 what, 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 to what, what, ensure game compatibility on the ARM and- devices. With our sample size of one with with the Steam Deck, right? With Proton, it seems like that is Valve's approach. They're like, we're mm-hmm. not gonna make you port your shit. We're gonna we're gonna spend the money and we're gonna get develop the resources so that we can just run your code as is on our Steam. Yeah. You think about that, but what do we do when like we're trying to run Windows ARM code? Um shit's well, gonna get a little more complex here the, the, in a minute, yeah, lads, the, the, if Windows ARM takes off. We need, we need, we need think, Mega Ultra Chicken for that. I mean you don't think, is anyone going to release native ARM games? Yes, Maybe, for yeah, Windows. Probably. We, <laughs> probably. Uh, do you know how many dump trucks are currently en route? Microsoft ain't fucking around this time. Like, will it work? I don't know. Are they not fucking around this time? Correct, they're not. <laughs> what, 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 will be, can, what will be weird? What will be weird is the future where like ARM is like, ah, yes, ARM is the PC architecture. X eighty six is for the consoles. For and I mean, people game companies easily bought. Look at a uh, Baldur's Gate for the new M series. Mm-hmm. Like Apple drove that dumb truck up to them, like make that shit happen. They're like, here you go. Come on, work your way through it, Pedro. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Arm also took Proton and made uh, the game porting kit. They made a big deal out of it. Mm-hmm. And that we're, was we're just about Windows, We're talking about <laughs> the entire market <laughs> for games. Apple? The entire market no, for games? No, Windows. I said we're talking about <laughs> Windows. The entire market for games. Well, well, yeah, yeah, but well, not Apple's Windows on ARM. Windows on ARM games. has even less. I didn't say Windows. On, uh, we're just talking about Windows, Microsoft, Windows, the thing that, that's going to be run. Microsoft making a push for this is what I'm saying. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, but currently, as the platform exists, there's more Linux on ARM than there is Windows on ARM. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I yeah, never disputed they're, that. They're, they're going to be spending a lot of money to change that. <laughs> right. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> that, that falls under my not fucking around category. <laughs> I, lo- I, I look forward to the, but to, to your point, Ben, I wonder if we are going to see like the, 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 the wine arm, the warm. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, you're right. I'm, I, what I was bringing up is what are going to be the complexities that, uh, we will encounter if like this does get traction. Why? Cause they want the battery life, man. Like one thing, one, one reason you buy the MacBook is why you don't, you get it with, with the M series, you charge it like every couple of days mm-hmm. and you use it, you know, it's not like 20% brightness and I don't watch YouTube videos, you know, and nurse it from charger to charger. It'll run for a couple of days. You're good. Well, and and and, and like I, I wonder if if so if Microsoft is smart, they will basically just you're funny. Do, All right. Yeah, yeah. Like, Joe yeah, here with the jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know. We're listen. <laughs> we we gotta take a little puff puff pass. Yeah, let, let, let me make sure. Let me make sure Linux recall got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're, I, I don't even remember where the fuck I was going with that, man. <laughs> if Microsoft, um, Microsoft, I think Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft if, to do that if, to if, a motherfucker. If, 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 if Microsoft was smart, what they'd do is they'd basically just cross-compile their shit to ARM so that the, the Windows API is the same, and then in terms of Proton, or in terms of Wine supporting it, it's like, as long as the system calls return the appropriate shit, then the code doesn't really care, right? Mm-hmm. But, but, again, that's, that's if Microsoft were smart. Well, if they're gonna like, oh, we have this, we have this special version of Win32 specifically for yeah, ARM. It's then... called the Universal Windows Apps or the Universal Windows Platform. They, yeah, they wh- already wh- have wh- that shit. <laughs> yeah, wh- Wine can run those apps though now, right? They've they've added yeah. the support them. No, not yet. No. Yeah. Fun times. Buckle up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We are streaming live. If you don't know that, uh, do, we're do, on do, Twitch. Do, do, this is not a fever do, dream. Do, do. <laughs> over on twitch.tv forward slash linux gamecast so we always like to uh give it a mention if something changes at twitch which we found out they've decided to roll back good news everybody for your horny vtubers Ooh. they've rolled back that we learned about that in the early in the show because apparently you couldn't they, your vtubers were getting a little too naughty a little, little, little too spicy some jiggle physics yeah, right, uh, yeah, 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 VR chat uh, the uh anime cat girls it couldn't be you know we we're old. We don't know. We read it on Twitter before the show. And we're like, huh, but that's not what we're talking about. I just want to give that a mention because it might roll into Twitch removing every member of its safety advisory council. Uh, yeah, they're going to replace all nine council members uh, with Twitch ambassadors. <gasps> Yay, because what's the point of having a board unless you control it, ladies and gentlemen? And <laughs> yeah, the safety advisory council has been around since 2020. You know, they got a check and they did safety advisory shit. No more. They were just all told, like, peace, we're done. Uh, we're going to get some ambassadors. So these, these are going to be people who positively contribute to the Twitch community. Yeah, people who rely on us for a job. As streamers who will, uh, you know, have you, the um, viewer and fellow streamers, um, you know, first and foremost, you, um, they're going to fight for you. Volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a, a, a bunch, a bunch of the people on the safety advisory council had stuff like degrees in social work and psychology, and had expertise in stuff like community safety and community management. So now we're just moving these guys over to some some uh, ambassadors, read loyalists, and volunteers. This will absolutely make folks safer, and absolutely, these are the first folks you're going to be thrown under the bus when the next awful, awful thing just emerges from Twitch. And uh, to be fair, uh, I can see some of those volunteers trying to push their own agenda because it has happened before. So, yeah, I don't think I'm the only one going, that's a bad idea. That's a genuinely bad idea, Twitch. (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't seem like a move to improve safety. It seems uh, like a move to improve their plot. Save money. And it's not even that much money because they were saying that the outgoing members got paid between 10,000 and 20,000 a year. So uh, that's chump change. Yeah, that they, they it, were. It, it was. They weren't even full time positions. Oh, no, yeah. I, I don't think it was. Um, had anything to do with money. This was all about like those people might have said something that we disagreed with. <laughs> well, yeah, <at> some <laughs> point, right? Because you know they're not reliant on us to live. <laughs> so here's my idea. 
let's get some streamers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like I said in the pre pre super shows, big, 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 we've investigated ourselves and found we've done, right. committed no wrongdoing energy. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you know, uh, if they came to me and they're like, hey, Ben, we want you to be on this up. Uh, here's X amount of dollars or whatever. And I'm like, that's dark as fuck. Sign me up. Let's go. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling everybody, but like, yeah, they're giving me money for this shit. What do you need me to say? Yeah. Windows love it. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. <laughs> when, Windows recall, you should enable it and let it record everything you do. Um, Speaking to the price though, but to celebrate, they've decided to increase the price of tier one subs. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's five ninety nine now. Yeah. <laughs> get right. Those extra 99 cents. Ooh, make it rain. <laughs> It's it's to the point where a Twitch sub has cost more than a, an actual submarine sandwich sub. I mean, this is Twitch right now. Like, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's your pro tip, everybody. Like, you know, I understand some people get like the darkest timeline when we open like the ads thing. I can say, okay, I don't want any pre-roll ads so people can just get in and start watching the show. What do I got to do? I got to run three, eight, three minutes of ads per hour. All right, fine. But I get a little setting says if you're Twitch sub, you don't get any ads. More importantly, if you get Twitch Turbo Nitro electric lightning bolt thing, is what it used to be a long time ago, you don't get any ads either. But even on that dark timeline, I got another option, Pedro Mateus. Mm-hmm. Still make you watch ads, even if you have that. It should just be called I'm a dick. And just fuck you, fuck you, here's an ad. <laughs> yeah, fuck you because that's why. That okay. Uh, the, there's if you're live streaming, I can see the whole yeah, I need to like five minutes, so I'm just gonna play some ads now while I'm gone. Mm-hmm. That's fine, that I'm okay with. It's the ads in the middle of ooh, something really fun is happening, and then Twitch does that really annoying thing that it doesn't give you like the please can I go back like five seconds when the stupid ad cut off the bit that I wanted to see. No, can't do that. Well, then fuck you, Twitch. Well, now you got to navigate it. That's why you see streamers that are like, we got ads incoming, boys. Yeah, yeah. basically, you do, you have to put an ad in order to give people that buffer time until another one is forced upon them. Yeah, so. or, or, or you try to do the Dodger thing and you're like, I'm going to give you a six minute block of ads so that we can get two yep. hours of like mm-hmm. uninterrupted streaming. And, you know, then in two hours, I'm going to give you another six hour, six minutes of ads and take a break. And yeah, it's this thing. Oh, <sighs> now, you Ad-based know, based economies. No, <laughs> no, we should go back to fish based economies. <laughs> I don't sure. like fish. So, yeah, let's use that. As fish and peas. <laughs> you got to give peas. A I'm chance. allergic to those. <laughs> I don't see a downside. We 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 get a safe. We get a healthier economy. We get to kill Pedro. Man, fuck <laughs> lightsabers. Force peas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, I just think shoot that means something else. <laughs> oh, it might. <laughs> no, you yeah, can keep we, thinking that right until you get some we, force we, peas on you. We, 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 we got some Darth Orson Welles over here with some kind of goodness and green penis. <laughs> Massive penis. Uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to talk about your massive pianist, penis, P- pianist, pianist, yeah, there's no clean way to say that. No, yeah. <laughs> None of you, you, you have a large piano player. Tell us about yes, it. Yes. Pianist, <laughs> your large green pianist. Um, ho, ho, ho. You can do that. Head over to linkschemecast.com. Hit the contact button. Fill that shit out. We'll get it. If it's good, we'll talk about it on the show. Same goes for YouTube comments. And of course, comments left over at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Coming up this week. Up first is, uh, man, something that I, I think Valve tried that already. Yeah, Mixim. Uh, this is this is from MC Sim, Mixim, MC P Pants, and he says, It's time for someone to make a Linux commercial product, like real commercial for everyday use, use with good gaming support and Etsy. I am ready to pay for Windows Alternative, but I want one-click installation. I want 100% game support out of the box without wine or whatever third-party emus. Well, I want free tacos and blowjobs. Uh, that, that's a nice or, pipe dream you've got going yeah. on there. I'm not saying that's bad. I, yeah. Not ever going to happen. Even, even on Mac. <laughs> on Mac, 
you've had to deal with the crappy ports of like the wrapper that uh, virtual, virtual programming, programming did. I yeah. mean, <laughs> how, how do I tell like first party from third party here? <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean that that, that I think first those are second there party because like th there's one emo. person taking the picture. I mean, of that, the that emo, looks like a third so. party emo. <laughs> no, that, that's just like a that's a double A emo. Mm. What where is the Ubisoft <laughs> one? The an, triple an emo. emo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, what, 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 about, what about Dot Emu? But yeah, no, a, a, as much as I agree and as much as I would love the, uh, yeah, everything is native, everything is Linux, everything is um, awesome. That's never going to fucking happen. Yeah, our, our, <laughs> it, our, it our, already our... doesn't happen with Windows either because you our, don't our, get 100% our... game support out of the box yeah. in Windows. Not anymore. Our, anymore. Our, 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 our native <laughs> gaming feature is dead, unfortunately. It is all Proton all the time. This is just the way the, the, the events have. Conspired. I don't know. This just seems like I would run Linux if with a bunch of extra words. <laughs> it, it, it's a pipe dream. It it's is. like, hey, guys, <laughs> like, I, 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 I run Linux too, man. I'd run Linux. Yeah, it's like six someone needs Linux's. to make this product, but also the entire ecosystem needs to change around it to accommodate it. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it, 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 it is a beautiful dream, but it is just maybe it'll happen one day. Uh, Blastico is Blastico. What, what does that mean in Portuguese, Pedro? That, that means nothing. That's not a word in Portuguese. Pretend it was we're a doing a comedy instead show instead of a and B. Roll with me. Uh, it, it, it's <laughs> if it's it Portuguese was a P Blastoise. instead of a B, it would just mean plastic. <laughs> All right, uh, Blas Blastico is talking about licenses. He says. Uh, if you are playing for games that can be taken away from you, dot, 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 or where you just can't give it or sell it to someone like any other product, dot, 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 you are a sucker. If I can't get a physical copy that is complete, I'll just pirate your ish. I'm not paying for a license to use the game, so if that's all you are selling, then you aren't even allowing me to give you money. That's one way to justify it, if you want to, like, justify stealing, sure. So, we were talking about, like, uh, what, Steam or some shit? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh... I I can't <laughs> physical copies as much as I love them and I do I I am the person who goes out of his way to like buy old games physical copies of old games mm -hmm. f for the reason that hey it's not available digitally because it is in uh rights hell like Heretic 2 like Alien vs Predator 2 like uh some the, some other sequel yeah literally the well, first you can't download three, it because, like, if you need the physical copy, right? No, you can't download it because uh, the publisher and the developers are no longer in talking terms, and therefore the game doesn't exist digitally. <laughs> well, this this goes that does the, even if you downloaded a pirate copy, it doesn't count the Blastico. It's got to be a physical copy yes. that is complete. So that means that like there are games that you just don't get to play because they don't have physical copies. There's like, yeah, say, yeah say most you hate, of them. <laughs> say you hate indie games without saying you hate indie games. Considering um, how I'm, many I'm, indie I'm, games can have like versus... a physical release from Dotemu or Humble, Humble or whatever, right? Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, you know, I didn't know that like, game collecting was a thing. And I ran across, I think we were talking about it on the show. This has been like over a decade ago. And I'm like, I brought it up to these guys, which new game collecting was a thing. And I'm like, so I was watching these organized hoarders. <laughs> like oh that that's a hobby okay i mean lo lo lots of types of hoarding are justified as hobbies organized hoarding no 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 just just hoarding just no, hoarding. I, i'm talking about organized hoarding <laughs> where you have a room dedicated to your hoarding yeah like, no, no, or organized as in i have a system yes sure organized and like this is alphabetically arranged by like game platforms and like all this other shit and i'm like wow like the, the the gaming youtubers like uh, the angry the video, game video games and whatnot that have the shelves of games yeah. behind them which is wild <laughs> i don't um no, i do not want physical copies just because i you know i don't want to uh like encourage like all the shit that goes through like transport and production and all that it seems unnecessary like for yeah, what it, so i can know have, nowadays, the, have, the, have the trinket well, th th that that and like I I I do not miss at all having to worry about like scratch discs or mm -hmm. like huh? losing losing a CD key or something like that. We, it's you, a massive no, 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 we've just drunk Kool Aid, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's tasty Kool Aid. That's and, the thing. Oh, no. I like I like the big box experience. I like pouring through the manuals. I like the physical experience of it. Yes, but 
The only thing I want is for Steam to let me download all my games and keep them without DRM. <laughs> That's my pipe dream. How many <laughs> games do you think you have with DRM on your account? Is there an easy way to check that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you can check. Uh, there used to be a, a list on some wiki that had all of the Steam games that didn't have DRM. Uh, and the ones, I think it's on PC gaming, uh, the PC gaming wiki. Mm. You can find the, all the Steam games that don't have DRM. And there's a couple of games that have cracks, effectively, uh, that let you bypass the, uh, the Steam DRM. But not all, unfortunately. So, yeah. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, even with like, Here's the way my brain works. Let me know. Well, it's like, it's a fucking video game. I'm like, you don't get to play anymore. I'm like, all right. I'm the same way with movies. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm the same way with fucking movies. Because uh, if you race with us on Tuesdays and Fridays, you know Ogie. Ogie's got a massive DVD Blu-ray collection. This is like, I want to have the... And I'm like, it's just a fucking movie. Whatever. Yeah, no, stopkillinggames.com. Uh, there's very much a... <laughs> in that respect of... Completely pointlessly, too. Companies like Ubisoft taking away your ability to play the video game that you fucking paid for. No. I, I, I prefer <laughs> the Epic Games approach, where we're just going to remove all Guitar Hero downloads from the internet, yeah. and then you just got to play it in Fortnite. Done. Yeah. Was have, having Unreal on fucking GOG, was it costing you that much money, Tim? It was... Tanking the company, Pedro. It was distracting people Dick. from playing Unreal in Fortnite. <laughs> yes. The Unreal mode in Fortnite. Redeemers are expensive, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this Saturday night train wreck. Um, if you like what we do, you want to support the show, head over to patreon.com forward slash letting scheme cast or become a Twitch sub. Link that shit up to our Discord. We're hanging in there uh, the other six days of the week. We got Amazon wish list. All that shit's over on linuxemecast.com. We appreciate your support. That's how we do the show. If not, hey man, share the show or something. Hit a read, whatever the fuck you share stuff on. That'll be dope. And at reply Pedro on Mastodon because he loves it. <laughs> yeah. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm Vin Stone. <laughs> On said Mastodon, at where I'm just at, Vin. Yeah, do that, mass.linuxgamecast.com if you're looking for a little instance. And of course, uh, at Vinstone on X or Twitter. And I got the blue sky thing, but I, I'm hidden over there. If you get any questions about your audio video bullshit, uh, hit me up on Interfacing Linux. I'm there to answer questions, help you out with that. And of course, I'm in Discord. Feel free to reply me. You can see me posting a like dick measuring contest with our 3D effects cards like me and Joe last night. <laughs> I'm Jordan and I got a license to grill. You can see me cooking steaks on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon.com, at Frojo at BSky.app, or at The Burning Fool on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, my license is of absolutely no chill. <laughs> because, uh, yes, I, I, I do like the occasional internet argument. I, I am that person. My license and, uh, is revoked. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you can try. If you drop just the right kind of bait, I will totally bite, and uh, I will have that internet argument with you uh, on Mastodon. Mass.LinuxGameCast.com. I'm at an accounted for there with the actual number four. Yeah. <laughs> the bait bite. Yes. Bite my bait. I don't know. <laughs> Dark Souls sucks. No regrets. That's all, that's all I got. Bite bait. <laughs> It's sweet and spicy. It's swicy. <laughs> swicy. I didn't know that was a real word. <laughs> it is. I, to, to, today I learned. <laughs> I've seen it. Well, uh, yeah, I Google well, it. Well, we like got to thank our sauce covered advisors, Omega Star Theorem, our very saucy executive producers, Barb Bramp, Scott, <laughs> Atomic Mike, Tamaj, Dave, Eshep, Ian, Kurducky, 1234, Apollo Drummer. Oh my God, so many. And our little Nicky fans, Super Destoed, Empty Glorious Egg Roll, and Turbo Tree Slot covered in that spicy mayo from Popeyes. That's so tasty. Rider Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Vertanula, Justin, Darkwing, System, T, Dancing, Joe, the Kresny, Oogie, One, and Frostclaw. There we go. I can read. Uh, in the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, you Romeo, crushed Pedro. Uh, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Steven, Jill, Benjamin, Doom, Do Not One, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, ah, so tiny, Jalou, Piper. I'm sorry, I missed a bunch You're of You're not <laughs> tiny, fine, upstanding cannibals. Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux, Neuraldi, Snuggles, John Eshep, Gimitron, Unoid, DSN, Joe, who has a 
Voodoo One, Aromatic underscore Dev, and mm-hmm. Kind Jor Rai. <laughs> All back here on the fuck wall. Until next week, get out there, get up to something nefarious, and uh, yeah, get swicy with it. Or you died to fight. Nah, 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 See you nah, next nah. week. <laughs> oh, don't get us slapped. <laughs> Getting swicy with it. Five dudes.